Hello guys, today is part two of the Python Scripting Fundamentals uh, series I'm bringing you guys. Uh, yesterday we went through the introduction, so basically the things that we have to keep in mind, like code blocks, uh, things like that, and the basic structure of the script. And today we're going to be working with variables and storing strings in them and displaying them. So this one will be fairly short, as I do have to go in a little bit. But anyways, uh, we're just going to start a new Python module. So once again, it has our little header and everything. We're not going to focus on this. Um, what we're going to focus on is right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable to ask for the user's um, username. All right, we'll just do that. So we'll do, so to create a, a variable in whatever code block, you're just going to type random things. So as you can see, those white letters, that is a variable right now. We just haven't defined it. As long as it's not like pass or something like a, uh, keyword or whatever, it's not going to, um, you know, it'll, it'll work as a variable. So I'm just going to use username and then we're going to do equals. So basically here's where we're defining our variables. So this is our variable name and this is, uh, what it's going to equal to. And then you can put this as anything. So you can make it a string. So hello. And then we can make it print off hello. So we can make it print off, um, we can make it print off the variable. So if we go ahead and let it print it off, if we go in there, as you can see, it prints off hello, which is our variable. Now we're going to make this dynamic and we're going to make it so that it puts whatever the user enters into this variable. So what we're going to use is something called raw underscore input. And this is basically where a pop-up box or a an input kind of thing, like if you run it through the little terminal or whatever, it'll have a... Um, it'll have it where they can type and it'll record their input. And if you run it through the IDE, it'll give you a pop-up window. So um, I'm just going to do raw input and then we're going to put parentheses. And inside those parentheses, we're going to put quotation marks. And I'm going to put, uh, what do you want your username to be? Okay. And I always put a space after in case it's ran in the console. That way it doesn't type the, the word right beside there and it messes it all up so anyways so now we're making it print the username but we can also make it print a string along with the username so we can do print hello um yeah we so we can say hello to the user so we're just going to end that off and then we're going to use a comma and we're going to put the variable name so username another comma, and then quotation marks to finish off the statement. So there, it'll just, it'll say hello, and then their username, and then exclamation mark. So we can go ahead and run that right now. I'm just going to save that as uh, variables.py. So if we go ahead and run that, it'll have the little input, input box, sorry. Uh, what do you want your username to be? You can put anything. I'm just going to put my YouTube name. And as you can see, right down here in the interpreter, it puts hello academic programming. Uh, it's weird how it put like a little space in between it. So we can actually take that out. Um, so let me wait a second. I'm just checking something because it just looked weird in the interpreter. Okay. I don't know why it's putting a space after the username there um, in between the exclamation mark and the username. But anyways, uh, so yeah, so that's basically how you record values into a variable. You can just define a variable, and uh, you don't need to put, like, in JavaScript, you don't need to put var and then blah, blah, blah. You don't need to do that. You can just put um, a word and then equals to define it, and then you can call it later on. So it's very good with Python with that as well. It's very good with variables. It's pretty easy to do. You don't have to go through the defining the variable and defining that it is variable and blah 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 you can just basically create it then there so um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial if you did please leave a like below comment any questions or comments you have on the video and subscribe i'll be bringing you guys a i'll probably be bringing you guys php videos uh later on i might bring you guys another one today or tomorrow um because i'm fairly fluent in php now since i've been learning it for the past couple of weeks um, so yeah, so I'm probably going to be bringing you guys PHP as well, and until then, see ya.